Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is James, and I'm really glad to see so many people out here today. Uh, it's been kind of lonely down here a lot of the time, and it's really heartening to see a lot of enthusiastic folks here today. And you all have that look on your face like, what do we do next? And so I'd kind of like to talk a little bit about what you can do next. Uh, the biggest thing is to come back. Uh, often, in the middle of the night, uh, with hot coffee, with blankets, with chairs, uh, with cameras, all of those wonderful things would be great. Uh, the other thing that you folks can do is write letters. Uh, letters to the editor of the newspaper, uh, letters to the folks inside. Yeah. I've been down here listening to, uh, we had one representative from the Board of Supervisors down here today talking about how he's already spoken to Eureka PD about how they're not supposed to be harassing us over our signs. And yet, day in and day out, they still come back to do that. So either Eureka PD has become a rogue agency that no longer listens to its supervisors, or our supervisors are not telling us the truth. The way to find out which of those statements is true is to write letters of complaint. It's to come down to the, to the sheriff's office and come down to the police department and complain about the criminal activity of our police department. They do not have the right to harass citizens exercising their constitutional rights. They do not have the right to selectively enforce the law. On the very day we had someone injured while they cut down our signs across the street, the county health department has wrecked their sign out and, and they just drive by and ignore them. Now, I don't want the Veterans for Peace to be hassled when they come and hang their banners on the fence, but they do and they're ignored. We put one piece of cardboard up on the sign and someone's head is shoved through the sidewalk. That is unacceptable. And the way we tell people that is unacceptable is we hold them accountable. We have a supervisor here telling us he's spoken to the police and they are not to be harassing us. And yet, every day, I have tales of harassment that continue. The way we end that is we have people here to witness that. We have people here to write letters of complaint. And we have people here to photograph and videotape those criminal activities so that we can get these policemen fired who do not represent the city of Eureka. Yeah. We are not a people that wants to have citizens, or even non-citizens, to have anyone beaten down in the street for expressing an opinion. And that's what's going on down here at the courthouse. We have been fenced off the lawn because they do not want us to practice our freedom of assembly. This is unacceptable in a free society. A little burned out from a, from a few days of uh, cold, so you have to forgive me a little bit. I'm also a little angry. Uh, this type of behavior will only continue as long as we tolerate it. Once we decide that we will not accept police killing citizens, they'll stop. Once we fire the criminals from the police department, they won't be there anymore. And that's the way that we fix this problem. We come down each day, we get warmed up, we get ready to go, we come down and we tell them this is not acceptable behavior. And we need each and every one of you to do this on a regular basis. There's been a, a lot of dedicated folks down here. I see many of them here today. You. And I'd like to thank those people for coming out day in and day out and, and keeping up the fight. But we need more of, of you folks, the people that have normal jobs and normal schedules to come down and be with us. Not everyone is, has flexible time. But we can all make a little time, you know? Instead of going to the mall and spending a bunch of money on crap that nobody needs, <laughs> we can spend a little money on some new tents and we can reoccupy. We can spend a little time and money on folks that don't have anything. One of the biggest, uh, the most disturbing things that happened in our first couple of raids is the way the police devastated members of our community that do not have homes. They came in and stole everything those people owned and held it for weeks. Some of it's still being held. These people are living on the street in the pouring rain and cold. You know, I've been sick the last few days. I had a nice warm bed to go home to and take care of myself in. Otherwise, I might have pneumonia now. These people don't have that luxury. 
And the people in, Eureka, in the Eureka Police Department and the Humboldt County Sheriff's Department, the California Highway Patrol, these people stole everything these people have and are keeping them on the street with nothing. And that is unacceptable. That's right. Yeah. Thank you for your time, folks.